NFL 2024 stadiums. Soldier Field Kicking off our list with the smallest stadium in the NFL, Soldier Field, the home to the Chicago Bears. Soldier Field is located in Chicago, Illinois, and opened way back in 1924, also making it the oldest in the NFL. Today, the stadium has a seating capacity of 61,500. At one point, word got out that the Chicago Bears were going to pack up and move over to Arlington Heights, where the team was going to have a new stadium built. Lucky for Chicago Bears fans, because now it seems that plan is dead in the water. Instead, the team is focusing on building a new dome stadium on a lakefront in Chicago, just south of Soldier Field. What would happen to the historic and beloved stadium afterwards? Only time will tell. State Farm Stadium The second smallest stadium goes to State Farm Stadium, home to the Arizona Cardinals. State Farm Stadium is located in Glendale, Arizona, opening back in 2006 as Cardinal Stadium. This retractable roof stadium has a seating capacity of 63,400. State Farm Stadium was the first stadium in North America to feature a completely retractable, natural grass playing surface, which is stored outside the stadium and rolled in for games and events. Northwest Stadium Home to the Washington Commanders, the Northwest Stadium is located in Landover, Maryland, opening in 1997. The stadium has been through five name changes since it opened. It was first named after Jack Kent Cook, team's owner in the 1990s who pioneered the stadium, but unfortunately died before seeing it come to the left. In 1999, it was briefly renamed to Redskin Stadium and then to FedEx Field until 2024, when the name changed again to Commanders Field and now the Northwest Stadium. Today, the stadium has a seating capacity of 65,000. Allegiant Stadium Allegiant Stadium is home to the Las Vegas Raiders, located in Paradise, Nevada. Allegiant Stadium is one of the newest stadiums on the list, only opening four years ago in July 2020. The stadium has a large 85-foot torch that houses a flame in honour of Al Davis, the late owner of the Raiders. The torch is known to be the largest 3D printed item in the world. Allegiant Stadium has a seating capacity of 65,000. Ford Field Ford Field, home to the Detroit Lions, located in Detroit, Michigan, opened in 2002. The Ford Motor Company doesn't just own the naming rights to the stadium, but also holds a controlling interest in the Lions franchise that dates back to 1964. Ford Field has a seating capacity of 65,000. Hard Rock Stadium Hard Rock Stadium, home to the Miami Dolphins, located in Miami Gardens, Florida. The stadium opened back in 1987 and has a capacity of 65,326. The Miami Dolphins share the stadium with the city's NCAA Division I college football team, the Miami Hurricanes. The stadium is notable for its distinctive exterior design, which features a white, sail-like canopy that provides shade and protection from the elements for spectators. This design is intended to reflect the tropical atmosphere of Miami. Paycor Stadium Paycor Stadium, the home to the Cincinnati Bengals, located in Cincinnati, Ohio. The stadium has a seating capacity of 65,516 and it opened in 2000. The construction of the stadium cost the public $555 million. It was the largest public subsidy for an NFL stadium at one point. Paycor Stadium has the nickname The Jungle, based on Guns N' Roses' song Welcome to the Jungle. The song is the Bengals' unofficial team anthem due to the nickname. U.S. Bank Stadium 
US Bank Stadium has a seating capacity of 66,655 and is the home to the Minnesota Vikings from Minneapolis, Minnesota. US Bank Stadium opened in 2016. The stadium is enclosed but was originally planned to be an outdoor stadium with a retractable roof. Although the state and local governments were against the idea, they were unwilling to provide funding for an outdoor stadium. They wanted an indoor stadium eligible to host other important sports events. The Vikings wanted the on-field advantage that came with being an NFL team located in a cold state during winter. Ultimately, the outdoor design was deemed too expensive, so the team agreed to the indoor stadium. Gillette Stadium Gillette Stadium, home to the New England Patriots, is located in Foxborough, Massachusetts. Gillette Stadium opened in 2002 and was renovated in 2023. The stadium's 22,000 square foot outdoor video board at the north end is the largest video board of its kind in the United States. Today, the stadium has a seating capacity of 66,829. Lucas Oil Stadium Lucas Oil Stadium is a retractable roof stadium located in Indianapolis, Indiana. It is the home to the Indianapolis Colts and it opened in 2008. Lucas Oil secured the naming rights for the stadium back in 2006 before construction had even begun. The stadium has a seating capacity of 67,000 and has an underground tunnel system that connects the stadium to the nearby Indiana Convention Center. Huntington Bank Field Huntington Bank Field, home to the Cleveland Browns, is located in Cleveland, Ohio. Huntington Bank Field opened in 1999 and has a capacity of 67,431. Huntington Bank Field was the first collegiate or professional football stadium in the US to achieve LEED Silver Certification for environmental sustainability. It incorporates eco-friendly features like water-efficient landscaping, recycled materials in construction, and energy-efficient lighting. Everbank Stadium Home to the Jacksonville Jaguars, Everbank Stadium is located in Jacksonville, Florida, and it opened in 1995. It has a seating capacity of 67,838. It features two massive pool decks inside the stadium. Fans can watch Jacksonville Jaguars games whilst lounging in luxury pools, complete with cabanas and bars. This unique amenity is part of an effort to enhance the game day experience and take advantage of Florida's warm climate. Acrisure Stadium Acrisure Stadium is the home to the Pittsburgh Steelers located in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Acrisure Stadium opened in 2001 and has a capacity of 68,400. It is also the home of the college football team Pittsburgh Panthers. The open end of the stadium, known as the open end zone, faces the Ohio River and allows wind to be blown in, while the horseshoe-shaped seating on the other side helps trap and reflect sound back into the field. This video is sponsored by Soccer at Oz. Are you looking for high quality football jerseys to show your support for your favorite team? Then check out Soccer at Oz, where you'll find a wide selection of quality jerseys from club and national teams all around the world. Get $5 cash coupon by clicking the link in the description to sign up. And when at checkout, Use 10% discount code TFC. Levi Stadium Levi Stadium is the home to the San Francisco 49ers from Santa Clara, California. Levi Stadium opened in 2015, south of San Francisco, putting 40 miles between the city team and their stadium. It has a seating capacity of 65,800. The stadium features a living roof. This 27,000 square foot green roof is covered with native plants and helps regulate the building's temperature, reduce energy use, and support local biodiversity, 
making it one of the most environmentally sustainable stadiums in the NFL. Lumen Field Lumen Field, home to the Seattle Seahawks, is located in Seattle, Washington. Lumen Field opened in 2002. It is known as one of the loudest stadiums in the NFL, giving the Seahawks one of the best home field advantages. The seating decks and partial roof traps and amplifies noise reflecting back onto the field. This has resulted in a number of full start and delay of game penalties on opposing teams who can't hear the snap count. The capacity of the stadium is 69,000. Nissan Stadium Nissan Stadium is the home to the Tennessee Titans. It is located in Nashville, Tennessee, and it opened in 1999. Nissan Stadium has a seating capacity of 69,148. The stadium features three levels of seating. The lower bowl encompasses the field and the club and upper levels form the stadium's dual towers, rising above the lower bowl along each sideline. Raymond James Stadium Raymond James Stadium, home to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, is located in Tampa, Florida. It has a capacity of 69,218 and it opened in 1998. The stadium has a 103-foot, 43-ton steel and concrete pirate ship replica located behind the seating area of the North End Zone. Every single time the Buccaneers score or reach the opposing team's red zone, the replica cannonball is fired. Lincoln Financial Field Financial Field, home to the Philadelphia Eagles. The stadium is located in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania and opened in 2003. It has a seating capacity of 69,596. The design of the stadium includes many elements dedicated to the team with wing-structured canopies on the east and west side of the stadium, an eagle's nest balcony near the north end of the end zone. The eagle's logo has a pattern going along the seats on the upper deck of the east and west side as well. SoFi Stadium SoFi Stadium, the home to the Los Angeles Chargers and the Los Angeles Rams, is located in Inglewood, California. It is the newest stadium in the NFL, having opened in September 2020. SoFi Stadium is the first stadium outside of New York to host two NFL teams at the same time. The stadium is the third major sports facility in California to have artificial turf. The stadium has a seating capacity of 70,240 and has the largest center-hung video board in the world. Mercedes-Benz Stadium Mercedes-Benz Stadium, home to the Atlanta Falcons, is located in Atlanta, Georgia. The stadium opened in 2017. It has a capacity of 71,000 and a retractable roof that features a massive circular halo board that encircles the entire stadium. This 360-degree high-definition video board is one of the largest in the world. M&T Bank Stadium Home to the Baltimore Ravens is located in Baltimore, Maryland. M&T Stadium opened in 1998 and has a capacity of 71,008. In 2003, M&T Bank acquired the naming rights for the stadium, and at the time it wasn't an issue. In September 2002, the quarterback Johnny Unitas, who played for the Baltimore Colts, had died and at this point, the stadium was sponsorless. So the fans wanted to name the stadium after him, but both the team and Maryland Stadium Authority continued with negotiating the naming rights for the stadium as it was their right to do so. The Ravens still gave the late legend his monument, naming the plaza in the front of the main entrance, Unitas Plaza, complete with the Johnny Unitas statue. Highmark Stadium Highmark Stadium, home to the Buffalo Bills, located in Orchard Park, New York. Highmark Stadium opened in 1973. The stadium is open air, with a capacity of 71,608. It has never had a natural grass surface. 
AstroTurf was installed in the stadium upon its opening in 1973. NRG Stadium NRG Stadium, home to the Houston Texans, is located in Houston, Texas. The NRG Stadium opened in 2002, debuting the first NFL retractable roof stadium. It has a seating capacity of 72,220. An interesting architectural feature of the stadium is its massive end zone doors that open to the outside. These doors are 110 feet wide and 50 feet high, allowing for a seamless connection between the stadium and the surrounding area. Caesars Superdome Caesars Superdome is home to the New Orleans Saints, located in New Orleans, Louisiana. Commonly known as the Superdome, it opened in 1975 and has a capacity of 73,208. It was the first domed sports stadium to be constructed without interior support columns, relying instead on a unique tensioned cable system and an innovative engineering design. Bank of America Stadium Bank of America Stadium is the home to the Carolina Panthers. Located in Charlotte, North Carolina, it opened in 1996. The stadium has a seating capacity of 74,867. An interesting feature of the Bank of America Stadium is its Panthers Den, a high-tech fan zone located within the stadium. This area includes interactive digital displays and a VR experience where fans can engage with the team's history and players. Empower Field at Mile High Empower Field at Mile High is the home to the Denver Broncos and located in Denver, Colorado. It opened in 2001 and has a seating capacity of 76,125. The Empower Field at Mile High is situated at an elevation of approximately 5,283 feet above sea level. This elevation, being exactly one mile high, gives the stadium its distinctive name and affects the game day conditions, including how quickly players may tire and how the ball performs in the thin air. This unique aspect of the stadium adds an extra challenge for visiting teams and contributes to the home field advantage for the Broncos. Arrowhead Stadium Arrowhead Stadium, home to the Kansas City Chiefs, the current Super Bowl champions. The stadium is located in Kansas City, Missouri. It has a capacity of 76,416 and it opened in 1992. The stadium is renowned for having some of the loudest fan noise in the NFL. The crowd at Arrowhead Stadium set the Guinness World Record for loudest crowd with 137.5 dBs in 2013. AT&T Stadium AT&T Stadium, the home to the Dallas Cowboys, is located in Arlington, Texas. The stadium has a retractable roof and opened in 2009. The Cowboys played their first game in the stadium on September 20, 2009, with former president George W. Bush in attendance, handling the coin toss. The Cowboys fell to their NFC East rivals, the New York Giants. After the game, Eli Manning signed the visitor team's locker with the message, first win in the new stadium. The stadium has a capacity of 80,000. Lambeau Field Lambeau Field, home to the Green Bay Packers, located in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Lambeau Field opened back in 1957, making it the second oldest stadium in the NFL. It has a seating capacity of 81,441. The stadium originally opened with the name City Stadium, but some people called it New City Stadium. The stadium carried that name for eight seasons until it was renamed in August 1965 in honour of the Green Bay Packers' late founder, player and head coach, Earl Curly Lambeau. MetLife Stadium MetLife Stadium is the largest stadium in the NFL, with a capacity of 82,500. It is the home to the New York Giants and the New York Jets. 
MetLife Stadium is located in East Rutherford, New Jersey, and it opened in 2010. It was the first stadium in the NFL to be built with two teams in mind. This dual-purpose design is reflected in its architectural elements, which include two separate locker rooms and team areas tailored to each team's branding and needs. Which is your favourite NFL stadium?